it's Gwen. Today I'm coming to you with the top 10 debuts that I'm really looking forward to this year. These are 10 books that sound really exciting. They're debuts, which makes it even more exciting to see if you're going to find like a new favorite author or, you know, that kind of thing. But these are 10 debuts that I'm really looking forward to. Of course, since they're debuts and they haven't come out yet, I don't have like a perfect synopsis to tell you, but I did write down a couple little things. I did have to write notes, so I will be reading a couple of notes for you, but I do have a full post of this on my blog which I will link in the description box for you if you're looking for the full Goodreads synopsis of each book. The first book that I want to talk to you comes out in January on the 26th and it is called The Mystery of Hollow Places and it is by Rebecca Potos. This book is a YA book. It is about the protagonist only knowing her mother from stories that her father tells her. At 17 years old, her father ends up disappearing or leaving in the middle of the night and the girl is convinced that her father is looking for her mother. So she kind of like uses the stories that her father has been telling her to go and search for her mother and hence her father as well. And it just sounds really good. So she uses the pieces from the story so that her father has been telling her to piece this mystery together and it just sounds really good. The next set of books come out in February. The first one is In Another Life by Julie Christian Johnson and this one comes out on February 2nd. This one is an adult fiction novel and it is about um, the female protagonist Leah who rebuilds her life after her husband dies and in the process of this she like lives like in rural France and it's very like historical and this romantic landscape. She ends up falling in love with this other man named Raoul and Raoul ends up like completely changing um, what what she knows about her life including her husband's death so it just sounds like a little bit mystery with all those like beautiful landscapes and all of that so it sounds really good as well the next book coming out in February is beautiful broken things by Sarah Bernard and this one comes out on February 11th this one is about two best friends that are completely inseparable. Their differences actually are what bring them close together. But at 16 years old, a new girl is introduced and it really starts to complicate things. Next book coming out in February is The Girl From Everywhere. And this is one that I'm sure you've heard about. Um, it comes out on February 16th and it is by Heidi. Oh, I don't know how to say the last name, so I'm not gonna try. <laughs> um, but this is a time travel book. It's a YA fantasy with adventure and time travel, travel, and it is part of a duology, so there's two books planned, um, but it's the time travel, it's basically the 16 year old girl named Nyx who could sail across the globe in her father's time traveling ship. She goes from modern New York to 19th century Hawaii and to other places of myth and legend. But if you're into time travel, I think this one sounds like a really good one to check out. Also in February, on February 23rd, After the Woods by Kim Savage comes out. In this book, oh, I think I would buy it just for the cover because it is so freaking beautiful. But this one is about two friends that are like in the woods one day and a paroled predator is on like he's paroled so he's like loose and um Liv and Julie like one fights back Jul Julia does and then Liz runs away so Julia fights back and gets caught and then Liv runs away and then Liv goes through this like year a year later like self-destruction she's starving herself she starts taking drugs and all of this but then another girl a dead girl turns up in the same woods and of course all the memories from what happened resurface so sounds really good like a really good thriller and that cover though so I'm really excited about that one. Now the next one has the most interesting title and it is called The Smell of Other People's Houses and it is by Bonnie Sue Hitchcock and it comes out on February 23rd. Um, Bonnie actually grew up in Alaska I believe and so this one is set in Alaska in 1970 and it has a large cast of characters but it's basically four different lives that get entangled where they try to save each other and all of that goodness. But I just think it's very interesting because I don't think I've read a book that's set in Alaska in 1970. But um, I believe this one is YA, but don't quote me. 
next, moving on to March, we have The Way I Used to Be by Amber Smith. This one comes out on March 22nd, and the cover, again, is stunning. If you've read Speak, I've heard that it's kind of like that. It follows a young woman and her struggle to find the strength after um, an attack or an assault, and basically her brother's best friend rapes her and it's told in four different parts from her freshman sophomore junior and senior year of high school and i hope it just you know inspires a lot of strength and she finds her voice and yeah but i think it's definitely gonna like pull at the heartstrings but it sounds really good. The last three books are in April. Um, Modern Girls by Jennifer S. Brown. This one is totally something that I don't think I would normally pick up. It's adult fiction. It's set in New York in 1935 in a Jewish immigrant community. Um, it's basically a mother and a daughter wrestling with unthinkable choices. They're confronting their beliefs as the world's changing. We're down to the last two. Um, number nine is Love, Lies, and Spies, and this one is by Cindy Anstey, and it comes out on April 19th. And this one, I mean, Love, Lies, and Spies, just the title alone has me drawn in. Um, but this is about our protagonist. She's not the typical 19th century lady. So she's more interested in like studying ladybugs and actually like getting married and fancy dresses and parties. Um, so her father sends her away to London and there her plan is to secretly publish the research that her and her father have been doing. Um, but then a guy comes into the picture and he is a spy for the war office. But the two of them kind of like team up and decide like, let's just pretend like we love each other type thing. So who knows what's going to go down. But again, love, lies, love, lies, and spice. Like what could be better? <laughs> Sounds so good. And again, I think this is an adult fiction book. And the last book that I want to talk to you about is Unicorn Tracks by Julia Ember. And this comes out on April 21st. Again, the cover, so amazing. Um, this one is basically about a young girl who um, a savage attack pushes her to... Um, begin working at her cousin's safari business and I was like I don't think I've ever read a book with a safari business in it um, but she ends up excelling as a guide and she is employed by a man and his daughter his young daughter um, to guide them through the wilderness and they're studying these unicorns because there's all these like mythical creatures in the safari um, and then the two, the, the protagonist and his daughter kind of like are drawn to each other. So I don't know what's going to end up happening there, but, um, they end up finding out that poachers are after these unicorns for like their special powers to help build this railroad or something. So that's very interesting. So it's kind of like they're trying to protect the creatures. And of course, you know, it just sounds really good. So definitely check it out. So there's are some debuts that I'm really looking forward to in 2016. A lot of them are obviously January through April. I don't have any after that because of how books are introduced. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited about these. The covers are amazing. Full descriptions are in the down bar. Um, yeah, let me know some debuts that you're looking forward to. Again, I'm so excited about these books. And yeah, that's all I have for you today. I hope you've enjoyed this top 10 list of debuts that I am looking forward to. And yeah, I'll see you in my next video. Bye!